Hello, in this video, we are going to cover the get char function. So the get char function is very similar to standard in, it just gets one character. It's, you know, it's kind of like scanf as well, but instead of getting potentially multiple characters, AKA a string, it's one character. So to implement it, it's really simple. You need a hash include of stdio.h this is you're pretty much going to have this in every application trust me and then in here we're just going to say we're going to create a char variable i call it you know input char for example semicolon and what we're going to say i'll put a printf this will just tell the user to do something if i say please input a character only one please and now to use the get char, what you do is you can't just put like get char because you know like how in scan f you would you know actually specify the variable that it goes to or like the area memory. Where with this you have to say input char equals get char. And it's a function, very basic function, and that's it. You'll get the first character that's entered and put into here. So if we was to print this out now, we was to say you entered the character. Now if I put percent C, put backslash N to format it with a new line character, comma, input chart. And if I save that, give that a run. And if I type in, let's say F for my name for Han, click enter says you enter the character f so if you want to get one character from the console from input this is the way to do it if i run it you might be thinking what happens if i put more than one so let's say if i put f say if i put my whole name for on click enter it still only gets the one so that's something to bear in mind it, it will discard the rest of it you could do multiple get char you know functions after it technically and you'll keep getting the next character it's more than possible to do that I want you as an extra task to tackle that. But apart from that, get char is really simple. If you do have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. Almost 4,000 members now. Usually two, 300 members online at any given time. There's a bunch of programming channels and there's a bunch of you know specialists. You can see that usually, I guess, depending on if you're on mobile or you know desktop. But if you're on desktop, you can see on the right-hand side and you know feel free to tag one of us and we'll try our best to help you. That's it. If you, you know, have any more questions, you know, there's always a comment section and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.